quick flat iron slash flat iron curls tutorial um we're gonna jump right in so as you can see i section my hair in three sections i'm using this schwarzkopf satin frizz control and protect as my heat protectant this is my first time using this um but i really really liked it it's like the best heat protectant i think i've ever used so kudos for that and um so i apply that liberally because i do not want heat damage so I'm making sure that I'm getting it all in, not just on the outer layers of the section, but also on the inner layers. And then I didn't show it here, but I also put some coconut oil on, on top of that, just for some extra shine. So I'm sectioning my hair in pretty thin, small sections. And as you can see, um, I detangle it first. I'm gonna make sure I have everything nice and smooth. Then I go over the roots two to three times. I go down the shock of the hair and then usually I go over the ends twice just because um, sometimes if I don't my ends really like to like stick up and be unruly so um, yeah that's basically it as you can see here from a different angle something I'm trying new um, like a dual angle type of recording just so you can see kind of what I'm doing in the back then once I have a nice medium sized section done, I take the flat iron and I do my curl. This really does take practice, but once you get it down, um, it's super easy. The trick is just to kind of keep the flat iron clamped loosely. You don't want to clamp down too tight or you won't be able to rotate it. And then I pin curl it. Um, I pin curl it as it, um, not dries, oh my goodness, as it cools down <laughs> because I want it to cool down in that form like a lot of times if you let it cool down while hanging gravity is pulling that curl down so the curl doesn't last as long when i let it um cool down in the pin curl my curls will last for like two weeks it's insane so yeah i'm just going through the process again super self-explanatory at this point um as you can see i'm using the brush just to get a super smooth um finish it really helps to separate the hair strands better than a rat tail comb does so I like the brush and that is a hundred percent boar bristle brush so yeah it's pretty simple y'all um I just do this all over my head and yeah if you have any questions drop them below please subscribe please comment I love I'm getting comments from you guys and yeah like and share share with anyone you think would like this video Follow me on Instagram. My Instagram name is Jamapel Shin, the same as here on YouTube. I do a lot more fashion-related stuff on Instagram um, and just product reviews, etc., etc. So, yeah, check it out. I'm going to go ahead and shut up now. You can just uh, watch the rest of the video. It's basically just me doing the rest of my head. And then towards the end, you will see where um, I do the tick down once it's cooled down. So yeah, thanks for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoy. Talk to you soon. So just a quick side note, I do keep my pin curls in overnight. Um, literally, the longer I keep them in, the longer the curls would last. Um, I've done this and then I've taken it down like an hour later and all my curls would just drop. So literally, the longer, longer you can keep your pin curls in, the better. If I do it overnight, my curls are nice and bouncy and then literally I can just pin curl it at night and it will look just like this for like two weeks straight so yeah just wanted to throw that out there bye <laughs>